Hey everyone, welcome to Twitter. Today we are going to be in Rochester, Minnesota. Yes, Rochester, Minnesota. Going to a place called Smoke, like S M O A K, Smoke, get it like oak. Um, this is a Texas barbecue style restaurant, and I tell you what, I love Texas style barbecue. It's one of my favorites. And today we're doing a giant burger challenge. I have this big bucket burger challenge. The rules are pretty simple. It is a 30 minute time limit. You have to eat the big pile of fries, plus the giant burger, which consists of um, grilled cheeses. It consists of beef patties. It consists of pulled pork. It consists of a Nashville hot chicken. Um, like just the, everything you can imagine. It's topped. It's then topped with Texas Twinkies, which are a cream cheese and brisket filled jalapeno wrapped in bacon, which are smoked. Um, there's also deep fried cheese curds on the challenge. The cost of the meal, I believe, is $30 or $36. Uh, and if you complete it, you get the, a free t shirt, Wall of Fame, um, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, that being said, I don't think. Oh, and you also have to drink Coke. You also drink Coke um, or like a bottle of soda. Um, that being said, I don't think anyone's ever doubled it, so maybe we'll try to double it. We'll see how we feel. Um, but it's no shortage of food. It's definitely a lot. But I love Texas-style barbecue. I've heard great things about this place. And uh, it was actually one of you that told me about this challenge. So let's go have fun. Let's go eat some food. Once right, we're here with the challenges, they look super, super awesome. We did have them in the buckets. I took them out just so we can have a better visual because looking at these, these are beautiful. So there is, again, the four burger patties on each, lots of cheese. Do we have the Nashville hot chicken? We have Texas Twinkies. We got grilled cheese buns. There's so, 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 so many things on this burger, pastrami. Then we got loads, guys. Two absolutely massive piles of french fries. Um, so like we said, 30 minutes per challenge, technically. And uh, that's about that. So barbecue sauce, some sweet t-shirts. Let's get it going. Alrighty, and then I do have the two bottles of um, soda right here. Again, required with the challenge. I also have a ketchup plate. I have all their barbecue sauces here, which I'll definitely probably get into. Uh, probably try some maybe the original. I have a big pile of ketchup. But yeah, guys, you know, I absolutely love, love, love barbecue. I love Texas style barbecue. So how about we get a rockin' and a rollin'? Probably start with uh, one of these burgers. So how about we go, we'll say at the count of maybe five, four, three, two, one, let us eat. Pickles. Mm -hmm. Give me some of these meats. Oh yeah, there's cheese curds, pastrami. Mm. Wow. That's really good. Super nice and rich. Wow, spicy. Mmm. Ooh. Good burger. Great taste in beef and very rich. Hey everyone, welcome to Zudor. Today we're here taking on the Bucket Burger Challenge times two. Yes, times two. Trying to do what no one had ever done before. No one's ever even completed or tried to eat two of these, and I don't blame them. It's a lot of food. Damn, that is juicy. So, like you said, simple rules of the challenge. Um, you do pay for it regardless, which is $26.50, which let's just appreciate the value of that. 
Guys, all of this for like less than $27, including a drink, it is such a value. Got pulled pork on here too. Mmm. Guys, that's some good tasting pork. Like, honestly, that is the best deal ever. Um, again, but if you do actually complete it in the 30 minutes, you get a t-shirt, you get a bottle of barbecue sauce, so like, it's a win-win all around. Um, so I was super happy to be able to try this challenge. Um, one of you lovely individuals actually sent this challenge to me, so I always appreciate you guys telling me about challenges that I have not done, and thank you um, for checking up that I have not done them. Um, so like I said, I really appreciate that, guys. I love hearing from you. Delicious. Put some of this pork in this barbecue sauce. And uh, you guys do help me, uh, you know, essentially plan out my travels. So we already walked through what's all in this burger. So I'll save you the, you know, gist of it. But like everything, everything is what's on this burger. That's the original barbecue sauce. And it really does. It's like a Texas red. Mm. Oh, wow. Ooh. I just want to help eat a sausage. Nice kick on that. Let's try this fried chicken, the natural hot. I love Texas style barbecue. And so I was so awesome to have this burger, you know, featuring like their delicious pulled pork, delicious sausage, the smoked pastrami, really giving us those delicious flavors. Of course, the good beef patties, the chicken. I mean, man, there's so much on here, like I said. There's a good flavor on that. Mm. Oh man, guys, that turtle and a mustard sauce. Woo, that is fire. Chicken's pretty spicy too, to be honest about it. Oh, and those Texas Twinkies. Let me know if you've ever had a Texas Twinkie down below. Jalapenos, brisket, cream cheese, bacon, smoked. Oh my gosh, so, so, so good. Delicious. Show these Twinkies. Mm -hmm. Jalapeno, bacon, brisket, cream cheese. Spicy but good. So smoked the restaurant itself was set up like a very like traditional kind of Texas style I call like dining hall slash warehouse. I really like that atmosphere. It really just brings some authenticity. All right, I'm trying these fries. Huge piles of fries. Didn't realize how many there was in those buckets. I feel like dumped them out. I do have some ketchup here. When you enter the smell of the smoke, the scents are just fantastic. Uh, the staff were super uh, friendly, super welcoming, which was like super amazing. Um, they also were cool enough to accommodate me, like literally basically even a slightly, like about basically right at opening time. Um, to fit it into my schedule. Um, so yeah, like we said, the challenge had been completed a small number of times. Um, although again, no one had tried to double it and not that you should, nobody tried to double this. Um, but I will say you should definitely try a burger from this place or try some of their meats. I mean, like I said, just so many awesome items and so much good food. And I got to try so many on this burger. I don't potatoes. Maybe, I don't know. Of course, I was hoping to get the completion of at least one of these challenges. I mean, hey, if we could complete both, I wouldn't complain. We are five minutes in. Now, if you're actually wondering what makes Texas style barbecue, Texas style barbecue, essentially it is uh, meats cooked with a heavy smoke and very light seasoning, specifically salt and pepper. So salt, pepper, heavy smoke. And I just realized I forgot to change this memory card. It really puts a big emphasis on the quality of the meat. You cannot hide it, you know, under sauces, and it is just delicious. Salt, pepper, meat. Stop it, hurry. There is not much more you need, and uh, like I said, they were definitely doing it well here, and I was super excited to be able to get some Texas style barbecue. Almost done all the fries on the first challenge. Um, this up, like this far north. I mean, it's you can't go much more, you know, northern. Uh, than Minnesota and it is hard to get some good uh, Texas style barbecue so I got to give a kudos to them here. I got some cheese curds and some grilled cheese. 
um, pretty much like this majority of the info like we said um, essentially 60 minutes because uh, we had two challenges and the quest for some t-shirts some barbecue sauces and their picture up on the wall of fame um, but with that everybody I'll let you get to the rest of the video uh, pretty straightforward from here um, but maybe I'll talk to you here in a little bit and at that let's ultimately see what happens damn good barbecue sauces Okay. Finish this one up. And sausage. Mm. Real nice. Cheesy cheesecake. Imagine that. I'm sure. Yeah, I'll take another water. Thanks so much. And actually, can I have that cup? I'm going to pour this into that. Thanks so much. Uh, okay. Alrighty, finish the first one there. About nine, maybe 35, 9, 40, something like that. You guys are the exact time on screen. Very delicious. I'm excited to go through all those meats again. These were awesome. Woo, a lot of food guys, a lot of fries. Taco challenge, let's see if we can uh, get through the second one before my memory card runs out. I thought I'll have to grab my phone, get some footage. Mm. Good stuff though, spicy pastrami. Also, look at the ball of ketchup they gave me. I told them I liked it. They listened. It's awesome. A word for the biggest bottle of ketchup goes to the smoke. Mm. Man, that's a good burger. Just over 12 minutes in. Ooh, a lot of food, everybody. A lot of food's early in the morning, but. Delicious. I think the belt needs to be undone. Whew, I need some room. A lot of food. Okay, Whew, a little better. A few extra horsepower. Okay. And a bird needs to come too. Uh, Excuse me. Whew, comments to the chef, guys, really. This was very, very good food. Juicy chicken. I will say those Texas turkey are dang good. All right. Oh. Fries. Big, huge pile, pile, pile of fries. Ah. Oh.
about 18 and a half minutes in. set my phone up because I forgot to change this memory card. So let's do that now before this dies. I have a little tripod. Technical difficulties, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Okay. Um. We'll get this recording. We are now live. And. Voila, in a minute, maybe, let's see, there we go, alright, we're rocking and rolling, oh, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, where were we? Food, that's right. All right, again, this is what we got going on here. French fries and chill. Let's keep this on up. Really good food though, I gotta say. Just a lot, a lot of it. Jesus.
All right, we are finished. Woo. All right, everybody, so with my camera running out of memory card, I'm not exactly sure how long that took, but somewhere maybe around like, <clears throat> excuse me, Woo. maybe like 27 minutes if I had to guess. That being said, super, super delicious. I gotta say that barbecue was really good. Those burgers were actually like so surprisingly, surprisingly, surprisingly delicious. Just like salt, pepper, you get that fire, that great tasting beef. Um, when it came to the uh, pork on it, it got to taste like the pulled pork, really nice smoke flavor. Pastrami was very, like a really nice spiced pastrami. The chicken was really good as well. Like I said, I gotta try a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll take a bite of a couple other things real, real quick. But at that, we do get two t-shirts and uh, two bottles of sauce. Um, although I don't know if I'll take them, I gotta catch a plane. That being said, a huge thanks to the smoke here, guys. Super accommodating, um, super, super friendly. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this place has been around for a couple of years. And I was gonna say, they got some really, really good food. I totally recommend coming and getting a burger. I mean, you could do the challenge. I'm not saying you should do the challenge. It's a lot, a lot of food. Definitely shouldn't do it twice. But it's definitely worth a stop on in, guys. Um, I love Texas style barbecue. This place smells great. And everything I tasted was delicious. Um, so that everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, the next time, say happy out the hungry, happy eating. And then that, I'm yeah. loving it. everyone just super 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 quick because you know i love 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 barbecue um guys and i love texas style barbecue so i just got a couple of their delicious looking uh, items here i got a rib i have some turkey i have some lovely looking fatty brisket and i have smoked salmon they do a smoked salmon which is pretty cool um smoked salmon is served cold so i'm gonna try that one first i think it's cool to do a smoked salmon i really like smoked salmon Mm. Great pepper, a good bit of citrus in there. The seafood's really nice. That'd be really good on like a salad. Like a really, really, yeah, really, really nice. Like I said though, I only got a quick minute. I gotta run, but let's try this turkey. I do got all the sauces here too, but Texas style, you don't need sauce. Turkey looks great. Tender. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, salt, pepper, heavy smoke. That was Texas style. You can see that large grain pepper and salt on there. Mmm. Very delicious. Got some pickles. Pickled onions, to be specific. Great way to cut some of that richness. Great taste in turkey though. I'm gonna try on these ribs. Guys, wow. This just looks fantastic. Look at that smoke ring. It is super glistening, super juicy. Ooh wee. Okay, I'm excited. Definitely a good rib. I wonder if they finish it on the grill. They're kind of like a bit of like a grilled flavor. Good flavor though. Maybe I'll try, uh, try some of this barbecue, so the original barbecue sauce on the rib. Very good addition. And the rib isn't too smoked. It's not overly smoked. Actually quite a light smoke. Good flavor. All right. And last but not least, everybody, and this looks like straight money. Look at this. Look at that brisket, guys. It's just so fatty. It is just like, oh my gosh, that's what you want. Look how tender that is. Just falling apart. This is my favorite stuff. So, 
cleanse my palate. And let's dive in, guys. Man, this is juicy. So glistening. Oh, man. Guys, that is, woo wee. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, everybody. Salt, pepper, heavy smoke, and that perfectly rendered fat. Oh my lord. Oh everybody. Man, they do good brisket. Hot diggity dog. Dang netta. Oh my god. Just one more time. Just ooh wee. Alright. That is the best thing ever, guys. You cannot beat a good Texas style brisket and get the fatty portion, the point. Oh my god. Mm. It just melt in your mouth. It's like eating borderline butter in the best way possible. The best tasting butter you've ever had. Mm. Man, that's good. All right, everybody. Well, I pretty much got to get going, but holy crap. I'm be taking this with me. This is fantastic. So like I said, huge thanks to everybody here. The staff been awesome and uh, great food. Come try this brisket. 10 out of 10. That is some of the, some of, if not the best Texas style brisket I've had in the Northern United States. So fire, they got it on point. No pun intended, it is the point. And uh, that's it guys. Let's get to the airport. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.